Well, guys, I'm nearly finished putting together my compilation thanks to your help, but I keep seeing the media talk about amnesties, you know, for all the tribe relating to the past few years, and obviously I say hell no. Let the Lord of the Black Land come forth! Let justice be done upon him! An amnesty can never happen because many people went full medical zealot wanting to remove the unjab from public life or calling those opposed to lockdown granny killers. It is beyond boring now listening to under 30s sanctimoniously preaching from their high horse because somehow they think they're immune from the virus and they don't have to do their bit to protect others from this vaccine or from this virus i've had this conversation with many friends and i'm willing to cut people off if they're not willing to get out there get the jab and protect others from this virus I'm done with people like Joanna lecturing the public, lecturing the viewers at home, saying, well, I'm under 30, I'm not really at risk, it's okay, my body, my choice, this philosophical junk, and it needs to be stopped. Without proof of the vaccine, you can't go into a pub, club, restaurant, gymnasium, anywhere at all, you can't travel, theatre, you can't even go into work. I mean, personally, I have to say, I don't even think that we should allow people on the streets unless they've had the vaccine. So you basically see it, this is going to be like, well, it's almost like, I, you probably don't see it like this, the two different classes of people, if you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That is what it is, so, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, people like that can never be forgotten or forgiven because remember, the current angle they're using is, oh, we didn't know the facts back then or the science has bloody changed. No, uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. This, as you know, is some weapons grade bullshit because the people they vilified back then literally told him it was bullshit at the time. By April 2020, enough people knew that the narrative didn't line up with reality as that Princess cruise ship showed us even back then. What was it? Around 800 people got infected on that ship, I think it was, and literally only 8 died. That there is 8%, which would be a lot if it wasn't for the fact that all on board were elderly to start with. The 8 that died were old and ill, and while tragic for the families, it should have told the world what many of us had already guessed. That there didn't stop Boris Johnson, Witty Valance and Headcock from locking down old people in care homes and stopping them seeing their family, many of who died alone. And her breathing is, is quite fast, and that's, to me, that is a, a cause for concern. Well, like I say, we, we've not had any concerns with the Well, I know, but you never do have concerns for her. Do you know, with respect, you, you don't. You know, you, you, I, I understand you're doing your best, but, you know, I can see that my mother is not well just by looking at her through the, through the window. Well, what, what do you mean I ring up on Monday morning? That's two whole days away. Well, I'm, like I say, I'm not the manager. So You're not I'm the manager, the... but I mean, I'm, rep I'm, 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 report I'm reporting, I'm reporting, hang on a minute, just a minute before you go, I am, I am asking you, I am, I want this doctor, hang on a minute, don't take her away, hey, don't take her away, don't take her away, don't take her away, you, yeah, plus Bojo the Laughing Clown and his weasel little sidekick Crip Wee told us it was mostly something that affected the old and ill in March 2020. Do you remember we shut schools because we were scared that kids would come home and infect older people who then die? Well, this paper in the BMG found no evidence, quotes, no evidence of an increased risk of severe COVID-19 outcomes. We shut down society, we shut down schools, just in case doing extraordinary, extraordinary harm to the lives of people, especially young people. So anyone demanding lockdowns, forced jabs or any other restrictions on anyone in my mind has literally no excuse for what they did. Of course, some people who brought into the narrative at the time will be forgiven because the average member of Joe Public ain't prepared for the military level psychological warfare tactics used against us during bat flu. The average member of Joe Public does not expect the government to use behavioural insights teams to wage psychological warfare on its citizens. They don't expect them to start using tactics designed to subvert an enemy nation on the people who pay their wages, or at least they didn't. 
Now they likely do, and I expect many people won't make that mistake again, let me tell ya. What is the same? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I don't think people will let that slide again. So the average idiot out there who got herded like Cal into towing the narrative can and will be forgiven but obviously not forgotten. Scumbag media hags, fuck pig politicians and all who tried to ruin people's lives based on medical decisions will certainly not. For these weapon-grade shit weasels, there is no amnesty, no forgiveness, and no hope of redemption. You are gangrene-infested septic spots on the brown eye of humanity and literally always will be. Deserve to boil in hell's everlasting sulfur. Where are